Hi Cancer, welcome to your mid-November 2018 Tarot and Astrology reading. I hope you're all well. Thank you for all your likes and subscriptions and please subscribe if you haven't already to the channel. So Cancer, we have Jupiter in your sixth house. We have um, the Sun in your sixth house and we have Mercury retrograding on your sixth house on the 16th. So what does it mean? Well, the sixth house is known as the day-to-day. -day. It's your day-to-day -day work. It's your health as well. And for you guys, it's all about reflecting about self-care for the most part in every aspect of your life. So whatever it is that you're currently dealing with, whatever is at the forefront of your mind, remember that you need to be your own best friend with so many um, planets in that side because the Ten of Swords just popped out, okay? Jupiter is going to be illuminating that side of the sky for you in a very positive and abundant manner. Some things may need to be laid to rest though because they could be negatively affecting you. What we store in our subconscious can sometimes be very detrimental to our mental health and our emotional health and our physical health. There's going to be a full moon in Gemini on the 23rd of November which is illuminating your subconscious, the 12th house energy. For you, it can reveal some hidden emotions that maybe didn't get completely picked up during um, the Venus retrograde cycle because Venus was retrograde in Scorpio, which was your fifth house of true love for about three weeks. And then it went into Libra, which is your fourth house, of close relationships and you might have been in a little bit of a standstill there it may actually have taken up some of your time in a negative fashion in that it made you reflect on old feelings old wounds and um, past mistakes past hurts and maybe if you've not fully addressed these they do come out during this full moon in gemini and that's actually cancer a wonderful thing i know it doesn't sound like it but it's a wonderful thing when we have the ten of swords there that you can release fully an old cycle or an old pattern of behavior. It's a great time for hypnotherapy. It's a great time for therapy of any kind, talking about your feelings, having a good chat with a close friend, having um, a night in with some sad movies and sad music and just letting emotions flow because there's something needs to be released, Cancer. And it's nothing to feel ashamed about or guilty about. It is just there. That's what 12th house energy does. Um, as a Scorpio myself, I've had a lot of 12th house energy with Venus retrograding in Libra. And last month there was the new moon in Libra and the sun in Libra. And it was incredibly uncomfortable at the beginning. And then suddenly you get this push forward whenever it's all dealt with. And you do feel a lot more refreshed. So I'm hoping that's what you channel this full moon for, Cancer. Because something's been delayed, something's been a long time in coming. The hangman is all about this surrender, okay? Letting go and taking a new perspective. This guy's been holding on to something for too long and the blood's going to his head and he's not thinking clearly. Knight of Wands, it could have been surrounding a fire sign. It could have been surrounded a Leo, Sagittarius or an Aries. Or you could be considering relocating or travel. Could definitely be travel the three of wands here interesting challenge is the queen of cups so either you're getting in your own way or you're having tricky relations with a fellow water sign outcome oh cancer the knight of cups beautiful and the page of wands interesting i think some of you are dealing with a fire sign or a water sign there seems to be a fire water dance here i like it okay So I'm thinking, 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 thinking. The Knight of Cups is Mr. Romantic, right? He's very charming. He's very romantic. He's very um, exciting as a knight. He's one of my favorite knights. We actually have two knights here as well. So they're both quite different, but they're both, they both engage the same type of excitement from people whenever they come up in a reading. The Knight of Wands is very exciting. He's very courageous, drives forward, makes decisions. On the flip side, then, he's quite unreliable and he can be quite flippant. He can be sort of flaky with your emotions and your feelings and his own feelings. The Knight of Cups is sometimes, yes, he's Mr. Romantic. He brings you flowers. He sings you songs. But then he can also not be there when you need him or he can be happy loving you from a distance. Okay. 
Um, there has to they have to explain the flip side of everyone um, card, but it's okay. It doesn't necessarily mean that they are one hundred percent gonna be doing that. So bear with me. We have more cards to get through. Now the three of wands is this preparation for the next step and it's in the positive position so you're thinking logically about this whatever this is if this is a relationship which I think it might be if this is a new romance which it very well could be you're trying to consider where this can go you're sort of looking far ahead into the distance regarding this person because you've been you've been in positions where you've waited around for somebody else you've gotten into positions where um, you were promised the world and nothing moved and you're skeptical, okay? But someone seems to be coming in for you quite enthusiastically, Cancer, and I think it's maybe bugging you a little bit because Queen of Cups here is your energy. You don't want to be made a fool of and you don't want to let your feelings get in the way of making the right decision. You're all about making the right decision here with the, the um, Three of Wands. And I can see why with the Hangman in the, the past position. You don't want to be there anymore. You don't want to be put in a victim position by the people that you choose to bring into your life because then you feel responsible. And you don't you don't want to feel responsible for your own pain. And you shouldn't do. Because we meet people at face value when we first, you know, we, we, we meet who they give us effectively. And it's good to keep your feelings detached and remain on your guard until someone gives you reason to drop it. But as water signs, feelings don't always work that way. You can get swept up in the emotion of romance. You can get swept up in believing this person is your dream because that's what you want to happen. And when you start to feel like it is, you can sometimes actually reflect a person, like a personality onto someone who's more of a knight of wands and you think they're a knight of cups. That seems to be your issue here, Cancer. You've done that before. Or you're concerned that the person you're dealing with isn't going to be someone you can take the next step with. Because you're starting to suspect they're a little bit flippant. But the Knight of Cups is all... Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, right. Now that is something. The King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles side by side, facing each other, offering each other something, meeting each other in the middle. That is something. So Cancer... Jupiter is leaving your romantic sector of true love. It's leaving you someone. It is leaving you potentially someone that you can go long term with. If you've had a really rough year in terms of love and romance, even though Jupiter's been there, bear in mind Jupiter always leaves you with a gift and the king and the queen of pentacles is something else. It's, it's very nice. It's, it's a relationship where you can meet the other person head on and trust them. Even if you feel like that's not happened to you before and you've maybe been alone for quite a while, the Hermit here is all about introspective energy, doing your own thing. Two of Wands. It is all about the next step. This is interesting. Justice, right? Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Oh, Cancer. Wow. Oh, lovely. Okay, so... <laughs> And the emperor underneath. Somebody wants to take care of you. Okay, so whew, I I see a potential cancer um, to meet or get. Well, if you're single, because some of you definitely are with the hermit here. In fact, with the hermit and the hangman, some of you could have been really long term single. Um, I mean, really long term. For some of you, it's maybe felt like a million years when it's been like a million minutes. I don't know. So, <sighs> the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles is a stunning combination. This can be engagements. This can be getting married. This can be something as simple as meeting the person you're going to marry. Um, maybe you've already met them and you don't realise it's them, Cancer. That's always a possibility. I'm seeing fellow water signs as interesting um, combinations here. Justice... For the reason I'm so set on saying this could be a marriage proposal or getting married is because justice is the, it's known as a marriage card. It's about signing a contract with somebody, right? And 
we've had Saturn in your partnership sector teaching you what it is that you really want from a person. So maybe Jupiter in your romantic sector hasn't felt that easy because Saturn's been in your partnership sector. But Saturn wants to teach you a lesson so that you benefit from whatever side of the sky he's in. And rightly so, because learning lessons has been in your challenge position, so it's felt hard. So the Queen of Cups, trying to... You've, you've felt, understandably, Cancer, that the same mistakes have been happening to you over and over and over. You get that. You really feel like you've maybe not learned a lesson, you feel like nothing's happened enough to learn a lesson, or you feel like you've repeated past mistakes over and over and over. So you're dubious. You're a bit sceptical. You don't want any more knight of wands personalities where they charge in appear to be everything and then charge out again you want someone that actually logically thinks this can work or at least they follow their heart and say i want this person i know this is my person if you're dealing with the workplace you guys are probably coming into signing a new contract with an employer a new job um a raise in your financial sector it's very very positive cancer i must say after a period of hermit and hangman energy which is feeling lonely in this position feeling um feeling isolated the ten of pentacles is all about wealth and establishment so you could really be working your way up in the world and interestingly <laughs> with the eight which is education in your challenge position you have maybe felt like you weren't educated enough to put yourself forward for a particular role but you actually are you know, this is coming forward, you're getting results for what it is that you do. Particularly with the emperor here, you could be using your entrepreneurial spirit to create a new project, a new job, or your boss could be taking note of you and thinking this is someone special. You know, you could also be dealing with an Aries person, I sense, because of course, with the emperor and the ram's head, someone that's a Mars dominant personality, someone who's quite uh, aggressive in their nature towards getting things done, or someone who's quite um, in a negative sense, a bit controlling, a bit domineering, but in a positive sense, they're very reliable, very knowledgeable. And I say that because the Hierophant is underneath Taurus energy, establishment, um, which also rules marriage. There's a real sense of legal establishment here, Cancer. It's very interesting. I do feel like some of you are meeting the, the person you're meant to marry or someone is proposing to you. Judgment, judgment, rebirth. Tuning into, you're on a higher, you're vibrating on a higher level, Cancer. You're getting into a higher frequency. It's a life changing transitional period. Okay. The judgment is not a small energy, it's very large. It's all about rebirth and following your inner calling. Somebody is coming into your life for a reason. It could be a Scorpio. Somebody is coming into your life for a reason to help you level up and help you. Um, embrace life-changing energy somebody is coming in that's going to make everything different somebody is going to be one of those people that comes in and changes your life but to be honest the main person changing your life is you because of the perspective you're taking the empress beautiful who doesn't love the Empress, by the way? Um, she's all about the divine feminine, connecting with your senses, taking care of yourself. As I said, self-care. This is about having love and compassion for yourself. It's Taurus, Libra, uh, Venus energy, embracing your creativity, eating good food. Um, it's a very pleasurable card. It's all about the experiencing the pleasure of your life and not feeling guilty for it. The Wheel of Fortune is smack bang in the middle to give you some good luck, good fortune, good karma, and optimism. The Five of Swords here, if you've been in a legal battle, Cancer, um, and it could, for some of you, it could have involved the mother, there could be legal complications as to involving the mother or children. With Justice and the Five of Swords, you're coming out on top in a legal sense. Um, you're the victor in a legal battle. So this could mean um, long, drawn-out court pr 
processes where you come out on top and you may receive some money because of it. Two of Swords and the Challenge. And the Four of Cups. Oh, Cancer, please don't reject this person. I feel like you might wanna, out of fear. <laughs> The King of Pentacles. He's he's such yeah. This could be an Earth sign. This could be Taurus, um, Capricorn, Virgo. I'm thinking there's a very strong Taurus connection, Cancer. But listen, somebody wants to offer you something major, and you're considering rejecting it for some reason. And I I'm not with you, Cancer. I don't understand. This person seems perfect. The King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles coming out is a bit of an omen that someone is your better half like someone is good for you that's making you an offer this might not be someone you've met just yet they could appear at the end of november um december time but it may not be that you reject them you may just need some time to contemplate the offer because this is in his best sense the four of cups he is thinking about it he's not fully rejected it um i mean he's not like waggling his finger and saying no 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 He's got his arms crossed, so he's hesitant. But for some of you, you may have been through a divorce before and you're concerned about the legal ramifications of getting married again or getting involved with somebody again because you've been burned. Now, that being said, choices are an issue because you feel like you've made bad choices before and you don't want to make the wrong choice again that's understandable cancer you can take your time with decisions in romance you know the right person will wait it out with you if you need time to decide whether or not you can take somebody up on an offer of commitment um, maybe take somebody back it could be that sort of decision Someone is going to offer you something and you have to make the decision whether or not you can take it. So it could be a legal offer and you may think you deserve more. Or it could be a romantic offer and you may want to be sure before you make the decision. With the Empress here, as I say, there could be some relation to the mother. With the Hermit card and the Hanged Man, delays with the mother. A mother-child relationship, especially if legal, could be finally coming to fruition this month. Um, the Wheel of Fortune means fate is smiling on you, so you really don't have much to worry about in terms of making a decision. Um, to be honest, with the Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups, if you don't take it, Cancer, I would take it for you. But I can't because I'm not a Cancer. It just feels to me with the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles that popped out side by side, there's somebody special, especially if they're an Earth sign. They don't have to be, though. Uh, just remember... Moon and rising in earth signs can be very strong. So it could be somebody with a moon or rising in Taurus. Or that could be you. The universe is offering you up something. And it's offering you up something stable. With justice in the positive position. I do feel there's an essence of legality here. But certainly Cancer, there seems to be a potential you could meet your marriage partner. Or it could be that you renew your vows. Or it could be that somebody wants to offer you commitment of some kind. I just sense it as something pretty comfy. So I hope... Oh, no, you need a goddess guidance card. Whew. Nearly left you without that. Jeepers. Can't say you're getting an offer and then leave you without your goddess guidance card. Diana, a focused intention... Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target and you will make your mark. Me of cycles and rhythms. Honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. Now, that is interesting because I did say your self-care is very important with the amount of sixth house energy. Receptivity. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. Allow yourself to receive cancer. Don't be afraid to take the cup. Receive the cup. Take the cup. Take it. Take it. Take it. Yeah. I'm just being pushy now, aren't I? I must have been the emperor that came out. Um, so, look after your body. Look after your health. Receive what you so rightfully deserve. Don't talk yourself out of thinking you don't deserve to be happy because you deserve to be happy, Cancer. Um, I don't mean to be pushy. 
but that just seems to be the way I'm sounding at the moment. Justice in the positive position is a big thumbs up from the universe in terms of balance and equal effort, which is what you're seeking, Cancer. You need somebody that lets you need them and lets you take care of them all at once and does the same for you. So I will see you in December, Cancer. Take care. Bye-bye.